Detective Boy, a geek corner man boxing. We have the honor and pleasure once again, Mr. Tom Law for a 360 promotion. Back in the major way, back in Madison Square Garden with King Callum Walsh facing Ismail Vidra. You know, how excited and pumped are you for this event? Uh, this is great. It's good to see you again. It's good to be back here in New York City, especially promoting the fight in Madison Square Garden. It's been a little while, but uh, the, the reaction we've gotten, the welcome that we've gotten here at Madison Square Garden, uh, it's been tremendous. The support from Dana White, the support from UFC Fight Pass, the UFC main platforms that are supporting this on social media, it's really taken this, like, it's taken on a life of its own, so we're excited. Callum's only 22 years old. Triple G was 30 years old when I started working with him. A lot of people didn't realize that, so he was already behind the, the game when we were trying to build him up when people didn't know who he was here in the United States, so we had to try to get those big fights as quickly as possible. With Callum, we could be more strategic, but a fighter like Ishmael Villarreal from the Bronx, locally here, 13 and, 13 and 1 with 10 knockouts, and the one loss is disputed, split decision. Um, those are the type of fights that Callum needs to build his career and, and need to prove that, that he is a world-class fighter. Right, well, what does that say to you? Because, you know, a guy with eight fights, you know, going against a dangerous opponent like that with ten knockouts, he's got more knockouts than he's got fights, you know. How does that stand out to you as, you know, being that you're promoting him, building him, developing him as a fighter? No, absolutely, especially, I mean, he's got the great record, but especially he's young and he's hungry and he's defending his hometown. Town. Uh, he's coming to win. You know, when I talk to, uh, he's promoted by main events. When I talk to his promoter, they're, they're very confident in him winning the fight. So that's a those are the type of fights that you don't just have an opponent that's coming to get a payday. It's just coming to, to, to show up. But uh, Billy Allen is coming to win. And that's what I think the fans are going to win. Callum is, is confident in his skills. And, and Freddie Roach hasn't turned down an opponent yet for Callum. But the way we're building him, if you look at his record, the, the records of the opponents that he's fought, he's he's fought solid guys. The last guy that he fought fought Regis Brogrick. And, uh, and Callum wound up stopping him in the fourth round and uh, you know it's it's um, it's it's a learning experience I think this is definitely B. Callum's toughest fight but these are the type of fights he's got to take and like I said it's it's that speaks to Callum's confidence coming to New York City and fighting a guy like Villarreal who hails from the Bronx who brings a lot of his own fans out so they're both coming to win and the, fa the fans are going to win on Thursday night absolutely, absolutely how exciting is this for you because we know you did a, a tremendous job developing Triple G into a global superstar now you got a guy you brought him up pretty much from, from the beginning so how exciting is this for you, you know? I, I couldn't be more excited you know coming back to New York City coming back to Madison Square Garden you, you don't forget how special it is but it's just a reminder of how great of a platform and how great of an arena uh, this is and when you have someone young who's coming up like Callum uh, it has such a big spotlight on his career that that we're really excited about the future for Callum right now he, you guys have a deal with the UFC fight he'll be fighting on UFC fight pass you know how, how important is it for the sport you know having this crossover platform where you can reach uh, fans from another fan base with your, with your boxer you know taking boxing to the next stage I think it's critical. UFC has built a tremendous worldwide fan base around the world, and if we can tap into that fan base and make them into boxing fans, which a lot of them were boxing fans, but they got turned right, off, and they figured, yeah, okay, yeah. I like more entertainment on the UFC side, but if we do a cross-promotion, and many of the UFC fans are subscribers to UFC fan base, so we're really wanting to make UFC Fight Pass a destination and a go-to place to watch great uh, boxing matches. Right, now I spoke to Callum, he said one of his dreams is to get in the octagon. How do, how do you feel about that? <laughs> well, you know, Freddie and I want him to do, to go as far as, as he can in boxing first, win a, a world championship, a couple world championships, unify the titles. But uh, I think he's definitely, we'll definitely see him at some point uh, in the octagon. After he becomes a household name in boxing, I think he can definitely may be one of those few fighters that can make a successful uh, competition in the, in the UFC octagon. Right, now Mr. Lawford, both of these guys quite carry, pack quite a punch. You know, they're both knockout artists in their own way. Do you see this fight going the distance? No, I don't see this fight going to this. <laughs> no, with, with uh, Villarreal having 10 knockouts out of 13 wins and, and Callum having 7 knockouts out of 8 wins, the, these guys both have power in their hands. So we're we're looking forward to the fireworks. And I think this is one of those fights that you can say this will be guaranteed fireworks on Thursday night. The tickets, tickets available at Ticketmaster. Uh, we sold a lot of tickets, but we want to really fill the place up at, uh, at the theater. How awesome was that last night being at the Taken Count to the Knicks? 
we know you've been to the Rangers game with them before a few, a bit, I believe a couple years ago. Now you're at the next game, the guys headlining the garden, you know, how special was no, that? It's you awesome. The, the hospitality that the MSG has shown us, having Cal Walsh on the court, giving away tickets to his fight, promoting his fight, showing him on the big screen for all the Knicks fans. It's a, uh, it's a special. That was a special night, sitting there courtside, right next to the Knicks right. bench, and uh, uh, just having him on the court was uh, was tremendous. And not only that, you guys brought the good luck. The Knicks won last night. <laughs> yeah, so Knicks won. Teams, so. They beat an LA team. <laughs> yeah. I knew all the uh, I knew all the Clippers players, and uh, oh, wow. they got a stacked team. They they just picked up James Harden. They got uh, so many so many great uh, players. Paul George and uh, Kawhi Leonard. And, yeah, Westbrook. I mean, yeah, 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 Westbrook. I, I know Westbrook from. Uh, Actually, he had the same uh, sponsor or tailor that Triple G had, Bijan. Oh, wow. Uh, nice boutique. Uh, shout out to Nicholas Bijan. Uh, that we were in an opening of the Bijan store in Las Vegas together with Triple G and Russell Westbrook. And I got a, sat, a chance to sit down and, and say hi to Russell. And great guy um, and, and a great basketball player. But uh, the Knicks got the better of them. I believe they're both a Jordan brand. Am I correct? Westbrook? And they were both with Jordan brand. That's amazing. That's right. We love to see it. That's a connection. Now, now before I let you go, Mr. Tom Moffat, I can't let you go without asking about the man himself, <laughs> Gennady Golovkin. You know, we, there's been some reports he vacated his titles. Uh, is there any news? The fans are dying to know what's next for Triple G. Well, Triple G's accomplished so much in the sport of boxing. Absolutely. I mean, when you go down his resume, at one point he had 23 knockouts in a, in a row. When he was a world champion defending his uh, his world title, he made 20 defenses, 20 uh, middleweight title defenses, uh, broke Bernard Hopkins' record, um, and. Uh, so he's accomplished so much right now. He's uh, taking some time off. He's with the family. Uh, we're just waiting to see what he wants to do. Uh, you know, nobody can really speak for him if he wants to go back in the ring. I know a lot of fans, they keep asking me, and, and uh, they want to see him back in the ring. And I think Triple G has uh, uh, proven to be one of the most exciting fighters ever in the sport of boxing. So. Uh, we'll see what he wants to do, and um, you know we'll just follow his lead from there. Yeah, it's amazing. We look forward greatly to, to any news concerning him. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Love. You've done a tremendous job with your fighters. We wish that. you the best on Thursday night and for the rest of your guys' career. Thank you. Thanks for the support, and always good to see you. Thank you, sir. Have a great day.